at the first steps of the process of uh, artificial insemination in goats and uh, of course we need the animal elevated and restrained uh, so that you can use the equipment that you need to do this but the first step in the whole process is to ensure that the area in which you enter is clean so that you don't introduce any foreign materials for a possible infection afterwards. So what we're going to do now is just basically clean the uh, vul vulva area so that there's no dirt around it so that when we insert the speculum we won't have a problem like so and that would dry it off. We want to make sure that it is dry off dry it off because uh, if you have a lot of water still in, on, on this and you carry it inside the water is uh, spermaticidal it'll kill the semen that's in the straw so you want to dry everything off that, that comes in contact with the uh, the gun and the speculum. Okay so now she's ready to examine we examine uh, her inside uh, by means of use of a speculum and a light source and I'll prepare that now. The speculum that we use for the process comes in different sizes depending on how big or small the animal is. Usually a maiden doe will use a smaller speculum uh, and a larger doe will use a larger speculum. And the speculum is nothing more than a plastic cylinder. Uh, we can use uh, clear like this or uh, white cylinders that, that will su suit it, uh, serve as a, a speculum for these animals. Inside is attached uh, a clip with a light source. The light source is portable so, so that we can examine the inside of the track when we enter the animal. We usually put a little bit of lubricant on the outside to ease penetration in there. Like so. And gently push it in. It's a little bit uncomfortable for the animal, but she eventually gets, gets used to it. Then we turn on the light. And there are two things that we examine when we look inside. We look at the, the mucus, the volume of the mucus, and the consistency of the mucus. What we'd like to see is, is probably a real gray, runny, stringy type mucus, which usually indicates that she's at the proper stage of, of her heat site, heat, uh, uh, or estrus. Uh, the other thing we do, of course, is we're trying to uh, locate the opening to the cervix so that we can penetrate the cervix and deposit the semen within the uterine, uterus itself, the uterine body, the junction of the two uterine horns. So right now I'll look at the mucus and I'll see if I can locate the entrance. And what you want to look for is, is the cervix and whether the cervix is open. Because if it's open, it's usually a pretty ind good indication that she's in good heat and it allows for easy penetration using the gun uh, to deposit the semen. So I'll load the gun at this time. All right, uh, we're now ready to thaw some semen. We're ready to thaw out some semen for uh, the dough we examined who's open and ready to. Uh, to be AI, so we've identified the, the sire in the tank and one of these canisters and we're ready to pull a straw semen out and they're in here we want to keep them and then we put them immediately into a thaw jar between 95 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit and we leave it there for 15 to 30 seconds and I prepare the, the AI gun and the sheath uh, for loading the gun for the insemination process. I usually rub the gun to make sure that it's warm because we want everything that comes in contact with the 95 degree semen to be about the same temperature as this, the semen so that there's no cold shock to the semen. And we remove the straw from the thaw jar. dry it, remove all the water from the outside and then identify the sire on the straw to make sure that we're using the right sire. GRK126. Correct. Then we remove the clay plug on one of the ends. Like so. And then load the gun. 
and put a sterile sheath around it because this is what comes in contact with the track and you want, whoop, want to make sure that it is in fact sterile. You lock the semen into place inside the, the gun. Lock the sheath on the barrel of the gun and are ready now to inseminate the dough. Okay, I've loaded the uh, inseminating uh, gun or pipette with the sheath on the outside, the semen on the inside. And semen usually comes uh, in two, uh, two different types of containers, both of which are called straws, but they'll usually come in a half or quarter cc straw, so you'll need the appropriate equipment depending on the type of straw that you, you've bought the semen in, okay? In, in this case, we're using a quarter cc straw. This gun here is a gun that allows you to use either half or quarter cc straws, uh, which makes it a lot easier. But we're ready now to try and locate the, the cervix and, and penetrate the cervix and deposit the semen. As you, as you enter the cervix, inside uh, it's a structure that looks like a little red flower with many folds. And in the center of that fold is a dark area, which is the presumed entrance into the cervix. So you try, uh, try and put your pipette tip at, at that opening, at that dark spot, and apply uh, pressure. Uh, and it, if it is the actual cervix, you'll hear uh, several little pops as you apply pressure. And those are cervical rings which indicates that you are in fact in the cervix and as you go through, you want to go through all of them and uh, when you go through all of them, you're at the, the junction of the two uterine horns. Now I've gone through about two or three rings already. I'll apply a little bit more pressure. There, that, that was the last pop. So I'm, I'm in the cervix right now. I'll pull it back a little bit and then deposit the semen. And then you just turn off the light, Oops. withdraw the speculum and the gun, and there's the mucus that we're talking about, it's ideal. Okay? And that's it. Mm -hmm. yep. This ideal consistency because it's mm -hmm. uh, cloudy but real stringy like this is ideal. This this type of mucus is typical of a later and standing heat. It's wider than the last one we looked at, which was gray and, and but still very viscous. And it goes from this consistency to almost a cheese-like character, real real. Not runny at all, but very uh, packed, compact, and dry type of uh, uh, discharge.